everyone and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. My name is Gregory Krauss and today we're going to be talking about thermostats. We're going to be talking about what a thermostat is, what they do, how to test them, how they might fail, and last we're going to be going over how to properly remove and reinstall a thermostat. Now before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that notification bell as that's the only way to ensure you never miss any of our content. Also, if you have any suggestions for future content or just want to jump into the conversation, throw that in the comment section below. A thermostat is a device that reacts to temperatures to open a valve or turn on a switch. A car's engine thermostat is a component in the cooling system that opens and allows coolant to circulate once the motor is warmed up. This gives two main benefits. It allows the engine to heat up to its optimal temperature as quickly as possible, and it keeps the engine at its optimal temperature while running. Most thermostats regulate the flow of coolant to the engine's radiator where it is cooled and returned to the motor. These thermostats use a chamber that contains a wax pellet, which melts between 175 and 200 degrees, and releases a spring. This operates a rod that then opens a valve when the operating temperature is exceeded, allowing the hot coolant into the radiator. The operating temperature is determined by the composition of the wax. Using this method, a vehicle's temperature is regulated by closing and opening at these preset temperatures to keep the vehicle at the ideal operating temperature. This can be witnessed by using a digital thermometer and measuring the upper radiator hose. Over normal operation, the upper radiator hose will have a low temperature due to the thermostat being closed. However, as soon as the vehicle hits the pre-designated temperature, the thermostat will open, causing a sudden rush of hot coolant through the upper radiator hose. Before you test your thermostat, your first step should be to make sure the cooling system is full of antifreeze. Next, if you have an electric fan, make sure it is working properly and the accessory drive belt is turning the water pump. If there are no leaks in your car's cooling system and the fan and pump are working, the fault is likely with the thermostat. Over time, thermostats can fail and they will generally fail in one of two ways. The first is for the thermostat to be stuck open. In this event, the vehicle will overcool and not allow the vehicle to rise to the proper operating temperature. This will cause a loss of efficiency power, and cause higher emissions. If your temperature gauge never rises above one quarter mark or your car's heater only blows cold air, your thermostat may be stuck open. To test this, you will use a digital thermometer and aim it at the top radiator hose just outside the thermostat housing. If the temperature slowly rises with the engine as it warms up, then the thermostat is stuck open. The second type of failure for the thermostat is it being stuck closed. In this event, the vehicle will overheat and not allow the engine's coolant to circulate and cool. If your car seems to run hot even on cool days or overheats, it may be stuck closed. To test this, use a digital thermometer again on the upper hose. If the vehicle's engine starts rising above the normal operating temperature and the upper radiator hose is still cold, then the coolant is not circulating and the thermostat is stuck closed. PPE tools and equipment needed for this job. The required PPE is gonna be safety glasses, gloves, closed toed shoes, and free of any loose clothing, hair, or jewelry. Tools and equipment will need pliers, a ratchet set, a digital thermometer, a stovetop heater, a pot, and a torque wrench. And the parts, we're gonna need coolant, a thermostat, and a new thermostat gasket. The first step in replacing a thermostat will be to make sure the vehicle is cool. If the engine is hot, then serious injury or death can occur. Next, we will remove the radiator cap from the vehicle. Now we will locate and remove the thermostat housing bolts. We may want to remove the radiator hose from the housing to make things easier.
We will remove the thermostat and confirm its failure. For an open thermostat failure, you will see the thermostat open at ambient temperature. For a stuck closed failure, we will test this by putting the thermostat into boiling water for one minute. It should open about a half of an inch. If it does not open, then it needs to be replaced. We will now clean the gasket material from the housing and opposite surface. Leave no old gasket behind as it will cause a leak. Next, place the thermostat into position with the correct side up. The vent hole allows for air to circulate through the thermostat and needs to be facing directly up to operate properly. Make sure to use a new gasket with the new thermostat. Now we will tighten the bolts to the proper torque on the thermostat housing. If needed, reinstall the radiator hose. We will now add coolant to the radiator until full, then run the vehicle until warm while continuing to add coolant as needed. This will ensure to remove air from the system. Note that some vehicles may need to be bled in a very specific process. After the vehicle is warm and coolant is full, reinstall the radiator cap. Make sure to check and fill the coolant overfill bottle. Now just to recap, today we went over thermostats. We found out what thermostats are, how they work, how to test them, how they might fail and how that affects a vehicle. And last we went over how to remove one and reinstall a brand new one. Well, my name is Gregory Krause with Unforgotten Tech. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today. And remember, be strong, be leave, be unforgotten.